What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back, moving on to the next question. So we have to show that the tangent to the curve y equals x squared plus x minus two to the power of three plus three at an x value of one is also tangent to the curve at another point. So this question here, I'm gonna do in a series of steps. The first thing I'm gonna do, the first step is I'm gonna find the equation of the tangent for this function here at an x value of one. Because we're trying to show that this tangent is also gonna be tangent to another point on the function. So for example, let's say that the function looks like that. What we have to show is that, let's say over here at this x value of one, we have a tangent. We have to show that this tangent is also gonna be tangent to another point on the same function. That's what we're trying to show. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the equation of this whole tangent here, and then we could see where else it could potentially be on the curve or where else it could touch the curve. So to find the equation of the tangent at an x value one, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the derivative of this. We're gonna find the derivative of the function and then into the derivative, we're gonna plug in that x value one. That's gonna give us the slope of the tangent. So to find the derivative of this over here, I'll label it dy dx. This could also be f of x equals this function, and then the derivative would be f of prime x, right? Just different notation. So to find the derivative of this, I'm going to use the chain rule. Because notice we have a function, there's this polynomial, this quadratic in the brackets, to the power of three. So we could take the derivative of the outer function, we can bring that three down, that inside bracket's gonna stay the same, and then we subtract one from the exponent, so that would change to a two. And then we take the derivative of that inner function, the derivative of x squared plus x minus two would be two x plus one. So that's the derivative of this part, and then notice the plus three, what's the derivative of a constant? It's just going to equal zero. So this here, represents the derivative of this function. And we wanna know what's the value of the derivative at an x value of one. So if we plug in one for all the x's, notice what we'll have here is one squared plus one, which is two, minus two, which would be zero, that would be to the power two. Then if we plug in one over here for x, we'd have two times one plus one, which would give us three. So notice that all of this, when we multiply it, because of this zero here, it's gonna equal zero. So what does this mean? This means that the slope of the tangent at an x value of one on this function is zero, which means it's actually a horizontal line. So if we draw this out at an x value of one, we're not sure how this function looks like, but we know that at an x value of one, the slope of the tangent is gonna be zero, so it's gonna be a horizontal line like that. So we know that the slope is zero. We also have the coordinate x equals one. So let's find out what's the y value of the function gonna be, and if we plug in one, into the function, we'll have one squared plus one, which is two minus two, which is zero to the power of three, zero plus three. So that would give us a corresponding y value of three. So this here is happening at a y value of three. We have a horizontal tangent at an x value of one and a y value of three. So what we have to show if we kind of extend this x-axis is that this tangent here is gonna be also the tangent to another point on this curve. So whether that point's gonna be here or here or here, here, wherever it's gonna be, we just have to show that there's gonna be another point on this function that has this exact same tangent. And what's the equation of this tangent? What's the equation of a horizontal line? Well, it's just y equals three, right? Because it's happening at a y value of three. Right, this is a horizontal line 
slope is zero. So how can we find another potential point where this tangent, that's also gonna have the same tangent? Well, what we can do, our second step, so our first step, y equals three, we found the equation of the tangent. The second step is we can find the x values where the slope of the tangent is equal to zero. Because if this tangent line is going to be the tangent line on another point, then at that point, the slope of the tangent is going to be zero as well. It's the exact same line. So what we can do, if we bring back that derivative, let me rewrite it. It was, um, it was like this. What we could do is we could find out when does this derivative equal zero at all the, what are all the x values where the derivative is gonna equal zero? And those are gonna give us the x values where the slope of the tangent is going to be zero on this function. So to solve this, what we can actually do is we can first factor this x squared plus x minus two, this factors into x plus two, x minus one. That's gonna to be to the power two, then we have this two x plus one. And then what we could do is we could take this two and distribute it to this bracket and that bracket, because these two are multiplying, right? So whenever we have an exponent, there's two things multiplying in a bracket, we could take that exponent and distribute it, quote unquote, to both of those terms that are multiplying. So same thing here, we can rewrite this as x plus two to the power two, x minus one to the power two, and then two x plus one. This is another way to write this derivative. It's the exact same thing. And now that we have it written like that, we can see from these factors, well, notice that the derivative is going to equal zero at an x value of negative two, at an x value of one, which makes sense. We already know that. We already figured out that at an x value of one, the derivative is going to be zero. So it makes sense that we got that factor here. And then over here, we could tell if we let this um, factor equal zero, isolate for x, we would get negative one over two. So what that means is that there's at this point two other x values on this function, an x value negative one over two and an x value negative two, where the slope of the tangent on the function is going to equal zero. However, are we done the question then? Did we find the, um, the other point where the tangent at an x value of one is the same at another point? No, we didn't because we can have a slope of tangent zero, but it wouldn't be the exact same tangent line. So for example, there may be this negative one over two, there may be a point down here where the slope of the tangent is going to be zero. Or for this x value negative two, maybe the point is going to be here where that slope is going to be zero. And notice that at both of these, it's not going to be the exact same tangent line. So both of these are still going to have uh, a slope of the tangent being zero, but it may not necessarily be the same tangent. What we want to show is that it's the exact same tangent at either both of these x values or one of them. So how can we easily show that? Well, the third step is we can find which of these x values, which x values have a y value of three. So what we can find out is if we plug in negative a half into the function, if we plug in negative two into the function, which of those is going to give us a corresponding y value of three? And when we plug in, so for this step, I'm just gonna change this to be f of x. If we plug in negative two, if we plug in f of negative two, that's gonna give us, if we plug in negative two, this bracket, um, 
would actually end up being zero because we'd have four minus two minus two, which would give us zero to the power of three, which is zero plus three, which would give us three. And then if we plug in negative a half for x here, we would end up with a y value that's not going to equal three. It's going to be some kind of other y value. And so what this means is that this x value of negative a half, it has a y value other than three. And so that slope of tangent, which is zero at that x value negative a half, it's going to happen, that tangent line is going to be different than this one over here. Versus because f of negative two is equal to three, what that means is that this point here, negative two and three, is on this function and it has a slope of tangent of zero, which means that it's the exact same tangent line that is at this point. And so we've shown from this step and then this step over here, showing that at an x value negative two, slope of the tangent is zero, and at that same x value negative two, the y value is three. With those two steps right there, we showed that the tangent at an x value of one for this function, which is a horizontal line, is also tangent, uh, is also the same tangent on the curve at another point, which the point, the other point is negative two and 